Hey, boys and girls, it is time for grammar. So we're on grammar number two. Grammar number two. All right, get out your verbs. Now we studied a noun. Remember, a noun is a person, place, thing, or idea. Mr. Vaughn is a noun. This is a noun. This board is a noun. This eraser is a noun. Readly is a noun because it's a person, place, thing, or idea. So hopefully, I was looking at some of your work. Some of you seem to understand it. Write your name and date at the top. And let's discuss what a verb is. A verb is a word that shows action or helps another verb. So look underneath there. You have helping verbs. Am, is, are, was, were, be, being, been, have, has, had, do, does, did, shall, will, should, would, may, might, must, can, could. Those are your helping verbs, okay? Um, and so if you're in class, I'd have you memorize all of these verbs for a test. And we're probably still going to end up doing that once you come back to class because it's important for you to remember these. Here's your instructions. Circle all the nouns in the sentence below and underline the verbs. So we're still focusing on the nouns, but now we're going to start adding verbs to it. So a verb is a word that shows action or helps another verb. Shows action. Josh threw the ball. Mr. Vaughn shook the science experiment, right? Um, Mr. Plumley wrote on the board. Samuel Plumley jumped out the window. Jasmine wrote in her book. You see the action there? Daniela screamed during the ball game. Josiah hit the ball that Daniela screamed out, right? Then we have Isaias cut the grass because he comes in, he helps his dad cut grass. Then we have Samuelito Ramirez um, looked out the window. So he looked. Then we also have Estrellita. Estrella sang a beautiful song. And our last person is Adrian. What did Adrian do? Adrian spent all of his money on video games, right? It's action verbs, things we do, okay? So it shows action or it helps another verb. So for example, let's say um, uh, Samuel is, um, or let's do this, Samuel, Samuel did hit the ball. Did hit would be the verb. The verb would be hit, and then did would be the helping verb. So both those would be verbs. So we'll learn we'll learn that um, as time passes on. Okay. So let's look let's look at this. Let's look at the very first one. Where's my marker? I'll just have to use this one. All right. So the very first one is the cow went. to the farm. Right? That's our very first sentence. The cow went to the farm. So let's find our nouns. Okay? Circle all the nouns. What in here is a person, place, thing, or idea? A thing? Well, of course, a cow. That's a thing, so we'd circle cow. Do you see any, any, th any person here? No. Any place? Oh, yes. A farm is a place. So circle farm. Now, which one in here shows action, shows something that they did? Does the show action? No. Does went show action? He went. Is that something you do? Exactly. So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna underline went. So that's what your first sentence should be like. Now, I want you to look down to the next, not the next one, look down three, where it says humility is something God desires. Humility is something God desires. Does anything in there show action? Desires is not. Okay? Well, it could be, but it's not in this sentence. Okay? But notice the word is. Look up at top. Look up top at your helping verbs. Look at is. So on this sentence right here, is is what we is what we would we'd underline. Is. Alright? So in all these sentences, circle your nouns, underline your verbs. A verb is a word that shows action. Okay, now at the very bottom it says write 10 words that show action. So you can write jump or draw or whatever, fell. Okay, anything that shows an action. So that's what we're going to do for grammar. I will check these um, and we'll see you for next class.